Dear Secretary General, Hulin Zhao, International Telecommunication Union, UNSG Special Envoy for Road Safety, Jean Todt, colleagues and friends. Transport is key to provide access to work, health, education and other public services. It also provides access to markets and supply chains for business. As such, it is essential for achieving social progress, including poverty alleviation and ultimately sustainable development. However, with the benefits of transport, we must also consider its externalities, which include, among others, the road safety crisis, the impact on air pollution, the impact on climate change and the effects of congestion. Intelligent transport are part of the solution to address these. UNEC has taken a holistic approach to intelligent transport systems, looking into their application to the transport of dangerous goods, climate change mitigation, and smart roads. UNEC has been collaborating with ITU for almost a decade already in order to synergize the work of the automotive world and the telecommunication world. I reported last year in this forum on the latest developments at UNEC covering cybersecurity and software updates for road vehicles. A McKinsey report highlighted that this regulation will boost the automotive cybersecurity market to 10 billion US dollars by the end of the decade. I would like to take this opportunity to thank ITU and all our other stakeholders for their contribution for this seminal work. UNIC provides the regulatory framework for automatic driving systems. This includes the work done at multiple levels to address automated driving systems, supporting the safe deployment of automated vehicles in traffic. Tremendous efforts are made by our delegates to define the requirements for what I would call the driving license of automated vehicles and make sure that the artificial intelligence that powers these vehicles performs well. I reported last year on the adoption of the UN regulation of ALKS, which covers automated driving in traffic jam situations. Our work on automated vehicles continues. This year, UNEC will complete the drafting of guidelines for the safety of automated driving systems covering all kinds of vehicles and all use cases. At our symposium this year, we have gathered for the first time authorities at international, regional, national and local level to share their expertise and discuss together the shift towards more intelligent transport systems. It's only by working together with all stakeholders that we will achieve the synergies needed to successfully roll out intelligent transport solutions for sustainable development. I wish you an excellent symposium over the next four days. Thank you.